Okay, here's what I've done. I clamped a little piece of angle iron on there and put one of those window mount uh, bases for your camera or a spotting scope or whatever. And hopefully I'll be able to give you a nice bird's eye close-up view of me screwing up some steel. So let's get the camera mounted up there and a chunk of steel put in here and start throwing chips. Okay, what I've done is I got a piece of 4140 annealed uh, tool steel. And I used my uh, center drill to get a center hole started in there for my tailstock live center to go into. If you look at the drill bit there. The way they're made is they're really, really stiff and strong so they will not flex and they will force themselves to stay right dead center on there. Okay, there I've loosened my jaws and pulled it out and got it on the, the live center out here. And the first thing I usually do is take a, a cut the full length of what I'm going to be doing to get everything centered up and true. Okay, this should be my last cut. Four inches diameter in this section here. And that's where I'm going to work on the uh, base of the check maker. Okay, there we go. We got it turned down to a one and a quarter. This is an old valve spring a guy at work gave me. It's off of a race engine. They had another spring over the top of it, but I think this will be enough. What I want to do is turn that down now so that this will fit on it. And then it'll have a shoulder here for it to set against. And then at this end, it's going to have the part that pushes the uh, disc up into to the top of the die to form the check. So I need to set my machine back up. Okay. We need to know what the inside is. It's eight eight I'm going to go 880. Got to go do some calculations. Okay, this is the last cut. The spring should slip right over that real easy. After it gets over to here, I'll put a different uh, tool on here. And I'm going to cut in here and then bring it out this way until I have a nice flat shelf for that spring to set on at that end. on those little coils. Sometimes they'll just run clear to the floor and you do not want to have one of those grab your pants or your hand or, or whatever because it will cut you deep if they are sharp. I don't like it when they coil like that. I'd rather have these little chips like this. As soon as that gets right to that corner, I throw my lever on my automatic feed and I'll shut that off and then I'll back it out with this. There, now I'll run it back. I do a lot of cleaning. I don't like walking on chips and I don't like having chips all over my lathe. So let me clean it up and I'll get back with you. Well, let's see if this works. I'm going to try to square this shoulder right here up.
on the automatic feed coming out. Okay, it's beyond that now, so we'll go back in. Okay, now the hard part is going to be turning this in here, and I think what I'm going to do is take it over to my saw, cut it off, so I can chuck this part in the jaws of the chuck, and turn the base on it, which will be the, uh, it'll go in the ram of my reloading press, it's going to be shaped on the bottom like a uh, shell holder. And I've got to cut this off where the whole center hole was. It goes in about that far. So I'm going to have to cut that off. I, may, I think I'm going to lengthen this a little bit first. Because the spring, I would like to have the spring down about there. So let me mark that. This is real uh, precise machining marking. There you go. And what you do is you turn it on. Yeah, that's it. Right there. Getting very close to being finished with this piece. This is the, where it goes in the reloader, the shell holder slot. That's got to be uh, 0.125 or 1 8 of an inch thick. I gotta take about six thousandths off of it yet. Okay, it's all done. Let's take it out of there. That's what it looks like. That goes in the shell holder slot. And there's the spring that will fit over the that, and then that's what lets this part push up through and form the cup after it's sheared off the, the little disc. I gotta make the top part of this, then I gotta make the top die. Let's go down to the gun room and see if uh, this will fit in the press. Well here goes nothing. It is pretty close to almost too tall. Of course it'll go down in there a little bit further. Let's see. Okay, try it. 
destroy it. Doggone it, it might be just a tad too tall. It's kind of hard to measure. I had to modify a set of calipers. Well, I'll take it back out there and shave that down just a tad and see if it'll fit. 